Hi, this is Madhuri. I want to talk about the impact of H-1B visa reforms on Indian techies. After being elected president using popular slogans like Buy American, Hire American, so far it appears that Trump is actually following through on his poor promises. Trump is against outsourcing of US jobs, though his initial focus is on manufacturing. There's a chance that this may get extended to services later. He wants US citizens to buy products that are manufactured locally and US companies to hire locals. The Trump administration is expanding the scope of its immigration squeeze by targeting the foreign guest worker visa program amid a furor in multinational corporations and multinational firms in U.S. government circles. Though the direction of broader equity market is positive, some sectors are likely to feel the heat of President Trump's protectionist views. Trump's decree staunching refugees and travel from seven Muslim nations when it was revealed that a new presidential order aimed at overhauling the guest worker programs that includes H-1 visa in works, the proposed overhaul of popular H-1 visa regime by U.S. President Donald Trump has raised concerns among the Indian IT firms. Technology companies primarily in the U.S. and in India have long used visas to bring skilled foreign talent to U.S in effect providing a route for Indian students and professionals to emigrate to the U.S. Since he emphasized on hiring Americans, the Indian IT industry, which consumes most of H-1B visas issued by the U.S., could face problems. The U.S. contributes nearly 62% of the exports. Analysts are of the opinion that Indian tech companies could easily witness around 60-70% to rise in the salaries of H-1B visa dependent workforce, leading to a 5-10% to hit on the margins depending on the total base of employees currently on H-1B visas. Any chances in the visa regime may result in higher operational costs and the shortage of skilled workers for 110 billion Indian outsourcing industry. Over 60% of Indian IT revenues come from the US. Five top Indian IT companies lost rupees 33,000 crores in market cap on a single day when this was announced. The Indian IT and BPO Industries Trade Association NASCOM has also lowered the industry growth projections for 2016-17 to 8 to 10 percent from its earlier projections of 10 to 12 percent. NASCOM also expects hiring in this sector to drop by 20 percent in 2017. Hirings in this sector have been on a downward trend since 2016. The biggest names in IT industry Infosys, Tata Consultancy Services, Wipro use the H-1B program extensively to send temporary workers and to the US. People employed in the sector should be concerned because the automation is already taking away the jobs and Trump will only add to their views. Thesis, Infosys and Wipro are forced to make fundamental changes in their business strategies including hiring more American workers and raising salaries they pay to employees working on client sites in the US. Moves that analysts will say erode operating on margins by as much as 3 percentage points. In 2016, Infosys alone had axed 9,000 employees. Earlier last year, Cisco had announced that it would lay off 14,000 employees starting 2017. IBM and Microsoft also are in use in 2016 for similar reasons. Across the border, Oracle recently has started laying off employees. In spite of all this data, some decisions are taken to restrict or constrict the movement of those skills for emotive or, or political reasons. Either these jobs remain unfulfilled or jobs move out of the US, both of which are not good for US economy either. Hence, there is little hope that it wouldn't come to that. Even if it were implemented, I am an optimist. Every time there is a change in US policies, Indian companies somehow have adapted to convert it into an advantage. So, there can be a silver lining to the story after all.